In forecasting, meteorologists use metrics to help make complex issues easy to understand. If I say category five hurricane, you know that's severe. There's also a scale used to measure fire risk. It's called the Haynes Index and is based on dryness and storm potential. It's commonly used in the West, especially the Pacific Northwest, where dry summers with the potential for thunderstorms and lightning are common. Like other scales, a formula is used to calculate the output. It measures two things, moisture content or relative humidity and stability, which is basically how mild or storm prone the air is. Each of these factors are given a ranking one through three. For relative humidity, a one ranking means very moist air and a three ranking means very dry air. For stability, a one ranking means stable air, so a mild weather day, and a three means unstable air, which can bring thunderstorms and the threat of lightning. Those two numbers are added together to create a final ranking somewhere between two and six. National Weather Service forecaster Steve Reedy says when the output is higher, so a five or six, that means we have dry air with high thunderstorm potential, increasing the risk for fire. Having the general public kind of aware of this metric um, can certainly be used as a fantastic tool to get, you know, to heighten people's awareness, you know, to consider, okay, maybe I should be a little more fire wise today. Maybe not start that campfire. It's a balance between people and the elements though. Looking at 2022 statistics in the Northwest, people started about 2,300 fires last year. Lightning started about 1,200 fires, but more acres burned because of lightning. Close to 162,000 acres burned in human caused fires, while about 562,000 acres burned in lightning caused fires, showing just how severe lightning caused fires can be. While it may not be very well known, this is why the Haynes Index matters. Scientists say it's important to know when there are dry days that also have the potential for lightning. And its formation is complicated, but part of the reason why it is the way that it is is so that it can break down this complicated information in a really digestible way. Another important factor in fire risk is winds. Winds are not factored into the Haynes Index, but can definitely play a negative role on a fire-prone day. With editor Kevin Glantz, I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti.